Bill Ackman's Pershing Square Tontine Holdings, or PSTH for short, is investing in Universal Music Group, or UMG for short, in what appears to be basically a pre-IPO offering for Universal Music Group. Now, this is unique because retail investors have never had access to something like this, so you can get an upsized return for the risk you're taking by investing in Pershing Square Tontine Holdings. So I forgot to do this for the intro, but I just turned on my accent light here because it makes my video look better, and it also makes me look smarter, which increases the chances of you hitting the like button, because I'd really appreciate it if you did that, and subscribe. First of all, who the f is Bill Ackman and why is there so much hype around his back? Which I'll get to later, but let me assure you it's not just because of his good looks. He's actually one of the most well-respected, deep value investors of our time. And he got a lot of hype recently, I'll call it for what it is, from predicting the March sell-off in 2020 from the coronavirus. It's actually been called the single best trade of all time, where he turned 27 million into 2.6 billion. But like anyone, he's not always right. Surprise, surprise. He actually lost close to a billion dollars betting against Herbalife, saying it was a complete scam and an MLM which he's kind of right. But unfortunately, the stock price didn't exactly play out that way. And we had Carl Icahn, another great investor of our time, take the opposite side of the bet. And in 2013, they had an unforgettable smackdown on live TV against each other. And this was basically the equivalent of YouTube boxers fighting each other, but for finance nerds. Well, if you're listening, let me talk. I did, I, you know, I want to say what I want to say, and I'm not going to talk about my Herbalife position because you want to bully me. All right. I'm not bullying that's you. I'm asking thought. the question everybody wants to know, Carl. That's well, all. But I you can make your statement. I don't give a damn statement. what you want to know. I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. And okay. if you want to take that position, I'll never go on CNBC, you know? So you can say what the hell you want, but okay. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to talk about what Ackman just said about me, not about Herbalife. And I'll talk about Herbalife when I goddamn want to, not when you ask me. Okay. I'm never going on a show with you again. That's for damn sure, okay? So let's start with what I want to say. Ackman is a liar, okay? They eventually got over the beef in case you were interested in the tea. Okay, so the question we all care about is whether Bill Ackman is actually right about PSTH's merger with Universal Group and whether we can make some money off this. But I will start by saying this deal is confusing as so let me break it down for you as simply as possible. But first, if you're not already familiar with SPACs, they're basically a shell company where investors put money in with a sponsor like Bill Ackman, for example, to go and acquire another company. Now the investors don't know what company is being acquired, so there's a little bit of speculation there. If a particular investor doesn't want to participate in the business combination or they just don't like it, they can simply redeem their shares or units for the NAV or net asset value, which is typically $10 for any SPAC, but it's $20 for Pershing Square, which you'll need to know for later when we get into the calculations. But this this essentially lowers the downside risk for investors because there's a floor on the price. There's basically no risk. The only risk is the opportunity cost of the capital being put to work somewhere else. Other than the NAV, PSTH is also different in the sense that well, size, first of all, it's a $4 billion SPAC, so the largest out there by far, but it's also set up in a unique way where the promote shares, which is basically set up to incentivize the promoter or sponsor, in this case, Bill Ackman, is better aligning with the investor. So Bill Ackman only gets the promote shares if PSTH share price exceeds $24. So again, this is a better alignment with investors. But it only got more complicated, but still aligned with investors after the deal with Universal Music Group was announced. Here's where your brain might explode, but stick with me. In a regular SPAC, you just get a burger. In this case, you're getting a full combo. You're getting a burger, you're getting fries, you're getting a drink, and you're getting, let's just call it, Ackman sauce. The hamburger in this case is obviously the Universal Music Group. Ackman was able to negotiate a 10% purchase of UMG at a valuation of 33 billion pounds. Now this works out to be about 40 billion US dollars and the valuation of UMG has been reported of even up to 50 billion dollars by Morgan Stanley. Now to be conservative, I don't want to assume that valuation, but it's also fair to assume that Ackman got a pretty good discount on UMG. After accounting for transaction costs, this results in a $4.1 billion investment in the company. At this valuation, PSTH shareholders will receive UMG shares for $14.75, which at first might sound like a ripoff because you just paid $20 now, so where did the rest of the money go? But wait, there's more. Before the transactions, PSTH directors are going to exercise 1.6 billion of forward purchase agreements, which is going to leave 5.6 billion in the trust. Now, after the actual acquisition of UMG, we're going to have 1.5 billion remaining in the PSTH trust. Enter Remainco. Remainco will continue to trade as a mini SPAC, which will look for another large mature business to acquire. PSTH shareholders before the business combination will receive $5.25 in Remainco. If you're still with me, congratulations first of all, but that was your burger and your fries. Now let's move on to the rest of the menu. 
The drink and the menu are the warrants. And I'm gonna admit this is the most complicated of them all, so I'm gonna skim through this really quickly for the purposes of this video. Now, existing PSTH shareholders already have one third redeemable warrants. Now, if they don't redeem this before the business combination, it's gonna shift over to Remain Co., where after the business combination, they're also gonna get another two third tontine warrants. So basically, a uh, one third warrant in Remain Co. That was pretty complicated. <laughs> now for the Ackman sauce. This is my favorite of them all. On top of all this, PSTH shareholders who hold for after the merger are gonna be awarded with a free Spark warrant. A Spark, like a SPAC, looks to acquire another business, but unlike a SPAC, it doesn't have money in trust. But in this case, this Spark is gonna acquire something up to $6 billion. So this could be something huge. This could be Bloomberg, this could be Stripe. This, in my opinion, is, like I said, the special Ackman sauce, which is the most valuable part in all this. Now, those are just all the freebies. To invest in this, you really have to understand the valuation of Universal Music Group and whether you think Ackman did a good job in the business he acquired. Now, my opinion in all this is I think he did a really good job in identifying a big, mature company with a lot of value and a lot of growth embedded in it. The growth comes from the streaming music industry, which is growing very rapidly. Now, it's like owning a piece of Taylor Swift or The Weeknd and getting royalties on you know, everything they do. Now, this is a complete different video that I have to do on the business model of UMG and the valuation, but I think it's a pretty good deal. And for me, I hold about two, I hold, well, exactly 250 shares of Pershing Square, Tontine Holdings, and I'm just gonna continue to hold it because I think it's a good value play for the long run. If you wanna be in on this, it's pretty much a long-term play. It's not gonna be a sexy overnight going to the moon type of rocket. You're gonna have to be in this for the long run and you're gonna have to trust in Ackman and his process and him as an investor. So I'll continue to give you more information as it comes out, but for now, I'd really appreciate it again if you hit the like button and subscribe and I can continue to do more videos like this. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.